It's Miranda. Um, this is not an April Fool's joke. This is actually how I eat my cereal. I pour my milk first. I know it's just a funny meme to people to just hate people who do this, but um, I'm one of those people. If you hate me for eating my cereal like this, I don't know what to tell you. You've, that's, more, uh, that's more your problem than it is mine. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. It's just cereal. But it's also the start of Autism Awareness Month. For a little background, I have never been diagnosed. I do not know that I am autistic. I think I am. I strongly think I am autistic. But the main reason I want to talk is because I do have a son who is on the spectrum. He's autistic and he was diagnosed at about two years old. He doesn't like Fruit Loops anymore. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's, let's, uh, let's get a shot of this. It's just the longest, yeah. So I'm gonna eat these and they won't be soggy and I'll still have milk left over. I like blues and greens. Um, funny enough, not funny, but blue is autism awareness color. Um, my opinions don't really matter too much. I'm just trying to help anyone else who also is just learning about this because I was clearly misunderstanding a lot of things about autism. Um, and I've never seen Rain Man before anyone brings that. The Rain Man is always brought up. Uh, that is more savant. That is not, that's not, that doesn't encompass anybody on the spectrum. Another thing I want to point out, what I've learned about the spectrum. This is all general things. I'm not talking about an individual with autism at this point, because you can't. There's too many differences. Everyone's different. Um, when people say one end of the spectrum and things like that, it can be very misleading in terms of autism, because in terms of autism, there is no end of a spectrum. The spectrum is more like uh, one of his teachers once described it as an umbrella. And there's all these different points within and around and touching and it's just, you can't really, there's no end of a spectrum. There's no mild here, heavy here. You know, it just doesn't work that way. People are so different. It's like one person with red hair doesn't mean that another person with red hair are the same. It's, it's a trait. Autism is a trait that affects people's brains in a way that from what I'm, from what I'm noticing, it makes brains work just differently than what somebody neurotypical might expect. In terms of Donovan, we just noticed that even though he was learning everything else so quickly, um, you know, just doing everything when he was supposed to be doing them pretty much, except for a couple of things. What's the matter, baby? He just now, he started stimming. And I know for Donovan specifically that sometimes when he gets upset that quickly is because the thing that he's doing, he made a little rule for it. That was his rule. And when it didn't do what he wanted it to do that time, he got very upset about it. Something in his brain upset him. And that's all you need to worry about. Just, you know how to soothe him. You know how to show him how to soothe himself, teach him how to distract himself, things like that. But what you don't do at least what I don't do in terms of my son is tell him that he's getting upset and it's bad that he's getting upset. You don't do that. It's not bad that he's getting upset. He's getting upset. What you do is you try to explain to him why that may or may not matter. In general, he might not understand it now. He is four, but I try to explain to him. I try to distract him. And that's really all I can do. If he's in a safe place and he's not going to hurt himself and he's just upset, sometimes he just needs me to walk away. Sometimes he wants me to come up to him. Sometimes he literally grabs my hand, leads me to his door to get me out of his room. Somebody else might be like, no, but he's four. He need no, he's in a safe place. He wants me to leave. I'm going to leave. It's that simple. My son is showing me what he wants in his own way. He's not saying go. He's just leading me to the door. I'm taking that as go. All right, he's safe. I'm going. Specifically Donovan. 
Donovan is only behind with communication. And that sounds like, oh, well, that's not a big deal. But if you think about it, pretend you have been picked up and thrown into another country that doesn't speak your language and doesn't even have your same mannerisms. Like if you do this for hello to them, they don't know what you're talking about. They don't know this means hello. You can say hi and they're just like, what? That is what he might be feeling like. That is what he seems to be feeling like. I don't know this because I can't ask him yet. He can't answer me yet. I've got to figure out a way to ask him and I've got to figure out a way to let him answer me. A lot of people want to push so many things on people to make them normal. And there is no normal. If, if things have just, there's no normal, there's no normal. And guess what? This is not normal, but it is because guess what? I like drinking this cold milk that has a little sweetness in it at the very end. And I didn't even use the whole pouch. There's no normal. There's no right way to do anything as long as you get to the end goal and you got to it with the ideals you were supposed to get to going there, I guess. I don't see any problem with being different. I don't know why people have to worry so much about being different. And like, Is this weird? Is this different? Is this weird? Is... What? Yeah, sure. And that's what's cool about it. That's the other thing. I don't want to say, oh, that's what's cool about my son. That was another thing that I stupidly thought. I was like, well, maybe this will be the cool thing about him. It was a really dumb thing to think of because I think now that it's it's the same as what I'm finding out happens in so many movies and stuff. Magical minorities, magical marginalized. Basically, if someone is different and people don't understand the difference, they're put in a movie as this magical being who just like is pretty much a plot device. And that's what happened with, the, you know, the recent movie about autism about autism, well, you know, about whatever it's about, is it has nothing to do with me and everything to do with him. And if his way of going about something is weird to anybody, but he loves doing it and he's getting there and he's, what's the, the only problem I foresee with him is how he will communicate things to somebody else. Other than that, go go wild, go nuts, play your songs how you want to play them. I don't care. Like if you want to explain them to someone, I want you to know how to do that. If you want to communicate to someone, I want you to know how to do that. I want you to be able to get through your life happy, healthy, and not a douchebag. Like I said, this is what I feel with my son. I don't know anything beyond the four years, less than four years. I don't know anything beyond the three years I've been researching autism, I've been seeing so many videos, I've been like watching so many reactions to people doing things and I've been talking to, I was talking to a couple other parents, but it's, it's not the same talking to other parents. I'd rather talk to people who've gone through this and tell me what their parents, they felt their parents did right and tell me what their parents feel like did wrong in terms of in terms of, I don't know how to put it because I feel like too many people are going for normal. Like, I just want to look normal. I don't. I never did. I, I was called weird so early that I really realized that I did not care early. And I want that for so many people. Don't care about looking normal. If someone else is bothered by you being different, they're bothered by you being different. You're different? Then what? Then who? Then everybody. Guess what? Everyone is different from everybody else. It's, it's okay to be different. When I do see a professional at this point, I've also looked into it so much that if they do a test on me, I'm going to have to explain to them 
that I kind of know what they're looking for. <sighs> that is a problem with the internet too. I feel like people look into things so much that they think that because they've researched it, they know everything about it. No, I mean, I know my son and I know how his brain will work with some things, I think, but it changes all the time. He's growing and he learns different things all the time. And he does so many things like a normal kid. And he does so many things like how I used to do it. And he does so many things like I would never expect. Like he, no one knows. This is my point, I guess. No one really knows anything. So to say anything is normal makes no sense to me. No one knows anything. So I did this. This isn't normal. Oh, well. I'm not normal. <laughs> what can I say? I'm not normal. I, I hope I always learn. I hope I continue to grow. I've said this before because it's just... I don't ever want to be someone who... I don't want to be that person who's like, no, I know autism because I know Donovan. No, I know Donovan's autism. <laughs> and I still don't know Donovan's autism because I'm not in his brain. He might not ever, ever say it in a sentence. For all I know, as much as Donovan mimics and talks and says these beautiful things after us sometimes, I don't know that he's ever going to want to talk to us. I don't know that he's ever going to want to formulate sentences to talk to us. For all I know, he's going to want to use a communi communication board. For all I know, he's going to want to just sing music. I don't know. In the meantime, I would love to learn. I would love to grow with him and find out more about autism. And for anyone who's, like I said, for anyone who's wondering about their child, don't look online. I mean, you can keep an open mind. Don't do self-diagnosing on your child. Don't do that stuff. Ask professionals, ask autistic people, ask uh, parents of autistic people. Uh, try to get the ones who are understanding because I've heard way too many stories of parents finding out something about their child and not believing it because they don't want to believe it and therefore they don't get any type of guidance and therefore they try to force their child into this shoe that doesn't fit and their child is uncomfortable and frustrated and possibly acting out. And they're like, oh, my child acts out. You put them in this uncomfortable spot and then you, you know, that's gaslighting. <laughs> Don't do that. He's not trying to piss me off. He's not trying to frustrate me. He's just trying to get through his life. He's just trying to get through and understand what's going on around him. So what I have to do is I have to be more patient. I have to find ways to present things to him early so he can process them. I have to tell him we're going to have a bath today, baby. Hours before we do it. Sometimes I have to do that. And I'm not saying feel sorry for me. I'm saying this is what you have to do sometimes. This is what parenting is. Sometimes it's not what you expect. Sometimes you're like, I thought my kid would do this. No, no, no. They're not. They're not doing this. Don't think of what your kids should be doing now. Don't think of what your kids are supposed to be doing now. Pay attention to what your kid is doing. Pay attention to what your kid is trying to show you, trying to communicate maybe. And it'll just work out a lot better if you pay attention to your child instead of feeling sorry for yourself. Don't feel bad for me. If anyone ever, when I say I have a child with autism and people will say, I'm sorry. And when it first started happening, I didn't really think badly of it. But now I have to tell people more and more loudly, don't feel sorry for me. He's a wonderful kid. He just happens to be autistic. Like anything else. If he was gay, would you say I'm sorry to me? Then you're a homophobe. <laughs> I just want him to be able to get through life. Know that no matter what he does in life, people are going to judge him anyway. I got to... I'm sorry, I think learning that lesson early is kind of important. Go by the rules when you need to.
But when the rules are not really rules, and it's like, for example, decorating your home, do whatever you want. As long as you're not destroying things that'll make it hard to sell later, do what you want. Put your couch in the middle of the room. I don't care. As long as you're being safe, you're not hurting anyone, do what you want. So that's just my discussion about autism and the way, from my point of view, just because I can't give, I can't give more details in this. I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. I have just dealt with Donovan. I have just dealt with Donovan, my beautiful, beautiful son. And that doesn't mean that I know anything more than anyone else about an autistic child. That means I know more about Donovan. That's it. There are some things that I understand is absolutely true in terms of knowing how to, to, to redirect and things like that. When someone says that, more as in, I know what his personality is, I hate it. I hate it so much. You don't know his personality. You don't know what he's going to like and dislike. You don't know that stuff because he's still figuring it out. You don't know. Someone made a joke about uh, putting him into coding. And I get that too. Donovan actually really loves numbers. But I think back now and I'm like, that is also... That's like a... It's, that sounds like a microaggression type of thing. You know what I mean? That sounds very much like, oh, because he's autistic, he's got to be in coding. If he happens to be a math mind like me and my husband, if he wants to code, makes perfect sense. But if a person doesn't know that and they say something like that, it just sounds really bad. If you don't understand why that sounds really bad, then maybe someone else needs to explain that a little better. I I'm not actually diagnosed. I'm going to keep repeating that. I'm not actually diagnosed, although I highly suspect. My son is on the spectrum, was diagnosed at two years old. And I'm just learning so much all the time about it is what I want to say. I learned so much. So just sit there, listen to people, open your ears, stop thinking so much about what's supposed to be and how a person is supposed to act and what things are supposed to be like. The sooner you get that out of your head in terms of anything in your life, the happier you'll be. Sometimes you just got to be like, well, this is just how it is and move on. And um, in terms of autism, that's just how Donovan's brain works. He sees so many things that he can't focus on the things that we might want him to focus on. And sometimes it's not important, and sometimes it is. Um, and we just have to figure that out with him. With him. That's all I wanted to say. Again, this is not an April Fool's anything because I do eat my cereal like this. I've made this comment many times. It's not a joke. I promise I eat it like this all the time. So don't let anyone trick you today over stupid shit because it's April Fool's today. Someone's going to try to trick you over some dumb shit. Don't let trolls say something that really upsets you either because they, they just want that real estate in your brain. Whatever. And um, try to be more understanding of people in general. Everyone is so different. Just listen. You learn so much about people if you just... Listen.